Valence electrons are the electrons in the outermost shell of an atom. They're important because they're involved in chemical bonds. We'll learn that a chemical bond happens when electrons are transferred or shared between atoms. An atom can have between one and eight valence electrons. Boron has five protons and six neutrons, which means the electron configuration is two, three. Two electrons in the first shell, three in the second shell. Chlorine is atomic number 17. 17 protons, it also has 18 neutrons in the nucleus. The electron configuration is 2, 8, 7. Both of these atoms, the valence electrons, are the electrons in the outermost shell. These three are valence electrons, and these seven are valence electrons. Here's an example for you to try. Magnesium. It has 12 protons and 12 neutrons. Determine the number of electrons in each shell and then figure out the number of valence electrons. You can also try phosphorus, number 15. Magnesium has 12 electrons, 2 electrons in the first shell, 8 electrons in the second shell, 2 electrons in the third shell. Therefore, it has 2 valence electrons. Phosphorus has 15 protons, which means it has 15 electrons, 2 in the first shell, 8 in the second shell, and five in the third shell. The valence electrons are electrons in the outermost shell, these five. Valence electrons are very important. They get their own system. It's called electron dot diagrams. This system is used to show the number of valence electrons and the symbol. We draw one dot for each valence electron. So magnesium has two valence electrons, we put two dots. Phosphorus has five valence electrons, we put five dots. One, two, three, four. Once you have one on each side, then you double up. Phosphorus has its five. If phosphorus had eight, you put them like this. But phosphorus only has five. That's just an example. Here are nine for you to try. Hydrogen, boron, and sulfur are three examples we'll do together. You can then work on helium, oxygen, nitrogen, lithium, fluorine, and argon. Hydrogen is atomic number one. It means it has one proton. If it has one proton, it needs one electron to balance it out. That one electron goes in the first shell. That one electron is hydrogen's only valence electron. Boron is atomic number five. It has five protons. It has five electrons to be neutral. Of those five electrons, two are in the first shell, three are in the second shell. So the valence shell has three electrons. You put three dots. One, two, three. Sulfur is atomic number 16. It has 16 protons and 16 electrons. Of those 16 electrons, two are in the first shell, eight in the second shell, and six are in the third shell. So for sulfur, we put six. One, two, three, four. Now we double up, five, six. We want to use the number of valence electrons to find a pattern on the periodic table. To do that, we're going to place the number of valence electrons in the square for that element. Hydrogen, we've worked out, has one valence electron. Boron has three valence electrons, and sulfur has six valence electrons. Work out the other nine examples and see if you can figure out the pattern. After completing the examples, 
you'll notice that group 18, neon has eight valence electrons, argon has eight. In fact, all of them in that column have eight, except for one element. The et element is helium. Helium is in group 18, the period one, it only has two valence electrons. You might think that this two would place it over here in group two with elements like beryllium and magnesium, which all have two valence electrons, but is correctly placed in group 18. To figure that out, we need to look at how the shells are filled. Helium is atomic number two. It has two protons and two electrons. So the outermost shell has two electrons. Neon is atomic number 10. It has 10 protons and 10 electrons. Of those 10, two are in the first shell. When the first shell is filled, go to the second shell. So out of neon's 10 electrons, two in the first, eight in the second. Argon is number 18. It has 18 protons and 18 electrons. Of those 18, two were in the first shell. Now we go to the second shell. The second shell holds up to eight. When it's full, we go to the third shell. The electron configuration for argon is two, eight, eight. Let's compare this to the elements in group two, like beryllium. Beryllium has four protons and four electrons, two in the first shell. The second shell only has two, even though it can actually fit eight. Magnesium, atomic number 12, has 12 electrons, two in the first. When the first shell is full, go to the second shell. Second shell holds eight. When that's full, the last two go into the third shell. Looking at this diagram, you can see why all the group 18 elements are all grouped together and group 2 elements are grouped together and helium is correctly placed in group 18.